title for this game is often misreported. Because it's in the logo, people often add Higemaru to it. But the official title in Japan is Makaijima Nanatsu no Jima Daiboken, or Devil's Island Adventure of the Seven Islands. And if the title Makaijima sounds a little bit familiar, well, there's the red Artemer right on the cover telling you that this is part of Ghosts and Goblins. Okay, not really, but Capcom was definitely trying to cash in on the success of their other game. The other thing that the cover tells you is that we're in for some good old-fashioned 1980s style Japanese racism. It's got some real, I don't see what's wrong with that, it's how we've always depicted those people kind of vibes. The Famicom game is a sequel to the arcade game Pirate Ship Higemaru. It's a pretty obscure game that you might only know if you get Capcom arcade collections. The way it works is you pick up barrels, roll them around, and throw them into pirates. The Famicom game took that basic gameplay concept and added a sprawling adventure game to it. Not that you go around collecting things to power yourself up. The way Makaijima works is that you go around looking for a pirate ship, defeat the captain to get a key, then take that key to an island gate where you run through an area looking for a boss. I've always bounced off Makaijima because it is just too much there. You start out having to look for one pirate ship in a massive, nearly featureless open area. You can hold down the A button to sail faster, but searching around forever on an empty map where you do nothing is not fun. You'll occasionally bump into other people who will talk to you to give you hints, and some of the pirate ships don't have anything. So let's go get the first key. Once you reach the ship, you can use the B button to pick up a barrel and roll it around, and then press B again to throw it. The A button jumps, but that's of dubious usefulness since you can actually jump up and into other enemies, even though they're not on your plane anymore. In some areas you can clear all the enemies out, in others they infinitely respawn, and sometimes you have to defeat a number of them to open the exit path. This number in the upper left tells you how many that is. The other number is your health. You get a few points for every enemy you defeat, and defeating multiple enemies with one shot grants more points. What you really need are pickups from the treasure chest, though. The chests are also open by throwing a barrel into them, and they might contain some food that's worth 200 health, or a POW that's worth 2000 health. And in some places, there's an invisible object that will appear if you throw enough stuff into it, that can reveal this pinwheel that gives you 10,000 points. The captain on the pirate ship always has the same pattern. Walk back and forth, throw some swords, and jump. His swords destroy any of the barrels you throw, so you'll have to either time your shots in between his, which is tricky since you'll need to dodge, or you can throw a barrel right when he lands from a jump. That was the best option I found. With the pirate defeated, let's pick up the key and... oh. Okay, well, I'm sure that doesn't mean anything. Let's just go over to the island gate and, uh... Okay. In this case, it's probably referring to birds, but it doesn't make it any less weird to see. This is the island where the depictions of locals get worse and worse the further in you go. Beat the boss and it's off to find the second island. The much more safe for YouTube views, Curse Island. That island actually has a puzzle to solve, and I couldn't quite manage it while I was playing. You have to explore a bit, defeat a boss, and figure out how to get the secret door to work. Keep an eye out for this iron ball that can be reused. For such a large game, there really isn't that much to Makaijima. I can honestly say I think I'd rather have had a straight arcade port than what we got. You can easily build your life bar up much higher than you can reasonably burn through it, and you have to get a game over if you want to get a password. I felt like the exploration wasn't really adding anything. If I had just more focused boards, where I was slamming barrels into pirates, I'd be much happier. Makaijima also has some technical issues that were really obvious, like screen flickering when you're scrolling vertically, 
or how you stay in a pushing barrel state when you cross the screen threshold while pushing something. The item disappears so you can't throw it, but you still have to press the throw button so that you can get back to normal. Makajima feels sloppy. Like it's a quickly made cash-in trying to latch onto some gameplay trends. Even in Japan, this game's nearly forgotten, and it's pretty easy to see why. <laughs> 